Hello everybody, welcome to another one. I have to do another voiceover. Uh, so what we are doing today on my £425 BMW, 705 including the auction fees for co-part and livery, so not too bad. Uh, what we're deciding to do today is the rear wiper doesn't work, the um, and rear boot switch doesn't work so I'm just going to mess around with them today in this video and try and get them sorted um yes so I mean I would do more outside I have got brakes to do pads and swap discs over would do that but I mean the weather was up has been absolutely shocking all it's done is rain and rain and rain and trying to work out any driveway that needs redoing, that needs stone putting down, that's now nah, mud. Don't really want to lay in it, to be honest with you. I mean, can you blame me? But now, right, so yeah, what we're going to do today is, like I said, we're going to set the back wiper off, get that done, uh, changed because it's a stub that doesn't work anymore. That's stuck in, and it should be quite springy. So yeah, we've got that to do. And the boot latch, um, the pins are corroded, and the wires pulled out of them. So yeah, just uh, managed to get another one off eBay with the plug and the wire that somebody's just cut off. So you get that spliced into today and see if I can get it working. If not, I'd hate to think what else it's gonna be. So. Yes, if you want my dust, drop in a like, that would be fantastic. So yeah, so what you need now is a small screwdriver. Try and get the boot switch out. Um, you got to be quite gentle, because I mean, plastic is brittle, and it will break. So yeah, just, tr just try and ease it out with a screwdriver if you can. There you go, look, see, so got it out. Uh, try and fix the wiring. Um, I know we need new gas struts. Gas struts are just about at it. They'll hold it at full height, but won't go up. Um, yeah. So the, I'm just trying to take the wires apart right now, and I sniff them back in a minute and cut the cut the plastic off the wiring. Just to have a look, but yeah, I mean it's quite a fiddly little job when you get to it. But um, yes, it's. I mean it's not too bad. It's they're easy enough to get to. Our parts are easy enough to find. They're, they're cheap. So yeah, there you go. There's a new boot switch. I left the new one in it. I should actually put the other one that came with it and just see if they are different. Uh, see if it'll work, but. I'm not holding that hope because it doesn't. So yeah, I'll just leave it to it and yeah, just uh, I'll let you watch me just get on with this bit. So yeah, right, I'll be back in like a couple of minutes. Crimpers, uh, work so on them on the inside. If you have a look, uh, you, they put they have um, different sides of the jaw. They have a left and a right, and a stepped. You want your step to run closest to the outside of the wire connector. 
So then what it does, it clips onto the uh, plastic coating of the wire and as close as it can to the top to stop it from pulling out. All right, so what happens is you have them the wrong way around. You clamp them twice and then they just um, not work properly. The wires will pull out. So yeah, so that, that's all that was. Is just to, I was just trying to show you on there um, that they work. So yeah, right now I am getting the new um, thingy for the, I'd forgotten what you call it. it makes the back window wiper whoosh backwards and forwards, side to side. And on the old one, it's C solid, and I tried to spray some WD-40 in there and get it working, but unfortunately it wouldn't. As soon as I made it in. It wouldn't then come out, which was annoying. So yeah, so what you need, 13 mil. That'll take the back window wiper off. And as soon as you've got that off, you then need a 24 mil. Take the rest of the wiper off, and that's how you can now get to your uh, back glass switch as well. So taking that out, you can then pull the latch out for that. Um, and then just behind there, there is a plastic trim piece. Uh, you need a screwdriver, just pull, take the poppers out so you can get to the 10mm bolts behind. And as soon as you got to them to, to 10mm bolts, nuts, you can then pull that plastic bit off. And then there's another 10mm, so a third 10mm up in there that's holding the gubbins on for the back wiper um, spindle <clears throat> so as soon as you've got that out you can then replace the back window wiper spindle mm -hmm. as I've shown you and as soon as you've got that out you can then pull that back glass switch out um, so yeah so how to um, yeah, so then what I've got to do now is try and get the catches to be exactly the same because if they're not right, yes, your boot glass will shut easy, but your wiper button that springs in and out won't make full contact with that little bit of a disc on the back that goes backwards and forwards and makes your back window wiper go. So yeah, so that, that that's all I was doing is just just putting a new one in there and then opening and shutting the glass a load of times just to see where it needed to be um, and as soon as they put all this in the back window wiper still didn't work so what I've had to do is I've had to go to Alfred's and get a load of big fuses and micro fuses and replace a load of fuses that didn't look blown but as soon as we replaced it, stuff started working, like that window wiper. Well, that's what didn't work. Mirror, horn, oh, there's no end of stuff. Stuff that you just wouldn't really think about checking. So, yeah, if it still didn't work after doing that, just double check your fuses and stuff like that, because that's what I've often found, is um, there's actually nothing wrong with the part. It's just, yeah, the fuses then burst and because you can't blow because then because it's a micro fuse it's hard to tell anyway but um so yeah i'm just putting it all back together now and then what we i'm going to do is then just as i said i went through tested it and unfortunately like i said i can't get the back window wiper to work until like the next day which was a bit of a nuisance um and what else still that was it, yeah, I don't know if I just said, but the back boot switch doesn't work. still works on a key, but it still won't bloody open, will it? So I've got to try and figure that out somehow. So yeah, so like I said, that was just a quick one. Not really a lot to do. Now I've got to clock the window wiper. I had to do that twice. But yeah, clock the window wiper so it sits in the right place. And that's it, job done. So yeah, if you won't mind just dropping us a like and subscribed that would be very much appreciated I should have another one out in about a week so yeah 
Um, see, catch you on the next one, guys. See you in a bit. Thanks ever so much for watching. And yeah, I'll catch you in the next one when we're doing engine stuff and trying to trace a misfire. So yeah.